Okay, 2013's here, and in case you haven't noticed, I've been putting up more of these rants and these uh, these short videos, which hopefully they're getting through to people. And I'm going to be exposing a lot of the things that are not true um, that are out there as far as training and diet are concerned. I mean, I'm seeing these things time and time again. I'm getting questions through emails, getting questions through Facebook, through Twitter, stuff like that. And I'm finding myself having to answer these things over and over again, so I figured why not put up these videos because I feel like I could got to come across a lot you know, better in a video than I could typing it up. So at least you can get a tone of where I'm coming from. So today, I want to talk about the ones where you have these coaches or trainers or nutritionists or whatever you want to call them who basically will go out there and find a program. They'll pay someone for a program and take the program and then hand it off to all their people. Now, these are people that, you know, may or may not really know what they're doing. They, you know, you don't know if they do or they don't. And they're basically passing on to you a program that they were given themselves. They don't understand how it works. They don't understand what it's about. They just know that they've done it before and they're going to hand it off to you and they're going to charge you for it. Now, along with this comes some of these diets that I'm hearing these starvation diets, these metabolic damage things, and it is a big thing with women right now I'm finding mostly is the metabolic damage. Now, I've seen metabolic damage, actual metabolic damage, and that is not what's happening with these all these women that are competing. It's not metabolic damage. Don't you think that the guys that are competing in bodybuilding trying to get down to these lower weight classes who are starving themselves and doing two, three hours of cardio a day, and these guys are not having metabolic damage. They gain weight after their competition, but it's also because they're going back up to their normal weight. They suck down to a certain weight. It's not metabolic damage, and I'll tell you what it is. What it is is after the competition, you have starved yourself and been quote-unquote deprived of these certain foods for so long that you want to indulge in them. And that's natural. That's normal. It's, you know, it, it's, it's human nature. But the difference between men and women that I'm seeing is women have more of an emotional attachment to food. Guys don't. So now what happens is after the competition, you start indulging in these foods, you start to gain weight. Guys can literally shut it off and be like, I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm going to go back to what I was doing. And I've seen them do a 180 and go back to dieting again and stick to their diet for you know eight weeks more. Or some of them blow up and just don't care. But the women who gain weight that care about it, that don't want to gain the weight, seem to have this... This, this failure option, this, this, this thing that happens where they see themselves gaining the weight and then they stop and try to diet, but they go back to eating the foods. So they never really stop eating the food. So they go from doing all this cardio, dieting, all of a sudden to stopping the cardio, eating all these crazy foods they haven't eaten for months at a time. Their calorie expenditure goes way down because they're not doing the exercise anymore that they were for the competition. Their calorie intake goes through the roof, and most of it's all sugars and just bad food. You eat sugar, and it increases your insulin. Insulin is a storage hormone. You're going to store those calories. You're going to get fatter. Now you see the fat come on. You get depressed. You get bummed out. You feel like you can't do it. Your weight slowly increases. All of a sudden, now you're at the point where, well, the heck with it. I, I had a Tootsie Roll today, so I'm going to go ahead and, and just eat for the rest of the day, and I'll start fresh tomorrow, and tomorrow never really comes because the same thing happens the next day. So what you see is not happening. It's not metabolic damage. It's a mental barrier that you have to break. If you dieted for 20 weeks, you should take 20 weeks to come off your diet at the end. Not just stop your diet the day of the show and start eating. That's not how it works. Yes, you're going to gain weight. But no, that's not metabolic damage. It's just simple physics. I dealt with a person with metabolic damage. I saw it. No matter what we did, this guy could not drop weight. It didn't matter. And we did this for years. Years. Until finally we found out there was a medication that had messed with the thyroid and that caused the metabolic damage. Now, that being said, if you women who were doing the show stopped eating what you were eating after the competition, all the bad food, went back to your cardio, which you didn't like to do in the first place, went back to training hard and back to a diet, it would reverse itself and you wouldn't have this metabolic damage. How are all these guys that are competing not having metabolic damage and not having to go to the doctor and not having to have all these tests? This has been going on for the last 60 years. Bodybuilders have been dieting themselves down to 3% body fat and then gaining weight after a competition and then coming back down again for decades. So why all of a sudden the metabolic damage fad is happening? Simply because 
it's a different thing for a guy and a girl, but you don't give yourself enough time to come off the diet. Now, if you've dieted down properly, you should be eating more calories at the end of the diet than you were at the beginning of the diet. Most people don't. They increase calorie expenditure by doing more energy output like cardio and training, and they cut back on the calories. Yes, they get in shape, but by the time they're done, they're starving. So what do they do? Cut the cardio, eat the calories, blow up. That's not how it works. So be aware of who you're training with trainer-wise, and if they're having you more, 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 more output, cutting back in the calories, more than likely that's setting you up for after the competition to gain a bunch of weight back. But it's not metabolic damage. It's lack of planning on your part and your trainer's part.